What's up everyone, Dr. Allen here from Maui Athletics and today I'll be going over reverse hyperextensions. Reverse hyperextensions were designed by Louis Simmons and are beneficial because they target the hamstring and glutes while allowing a beneficial activation of the lower back from flexion to extension. It can be great for rehab and strengthening all the muscles involved. Begin your setup by placing both feet into the straps. Make sure you make the straps taut and maintain that tightness throughout the movement. The straps should never become loose. Next, hop on the pad so your torso is supported with hips hanging off the end. The exercise involves a pendulum motion through a full range that is performed mainly by flexing the glutes, hamstrings, and lower back musculature from flexion through extension. Louis recommends raising the head during extension and lowering during flexion, although this is controversial as some coaches recommend against this. I find this is best left up to personal preference. It's important to progressively slow the pendulum motion once you've completed your set to prevent taking a hit from the machine arm in your shins. You can program this exercise for one of two main purposes. If your intent is rehab, I would do three to four sets of 12 to 15 reps and place this as your last exercise in a day. If your goal is strength, I would do three to four sets of six to eight reps and really load on the weight. All right, everyone, that's our crash course on reverse hyperextensions. Give us a like, share, and a follow, and we'll see you next time.